Hi everyone, this is Vincent for EverythingiPad.com. I have with me the new Stealth Armor uh, protection for your iPad. So I'm going to quickly unbox it here for you, but what I'm, the more importantly, um, just keep in mind that this is not final packaging. Uh, the final package will come with a nice steel case and whatnot. Um, so the point of uh, this video today is to show you how to how to remove any uh, existing uh, protection that you have on your device and clean it and whatnot and I'm going to show you how to apply it. So here we have the press material. Um, inside I have, let's see here, the, the, uh, the stealth armor. In this case I have the white carbon with slash gear engraved on it. It feels really good, so I think you're going to really enjoy it if you decide to go with uh, Stealth Armor's protection for your iPad. And what I'm not going to show you in this video is the uh, front cover uh, for, for the display. So um, with that, let me kind of give you a quick uh, up-close look. And of course, that's the, um, that's the protection piece right here with slash gear on it. Um, and this is what it's going to come packaged in, not that size, of course. And again, this is the, the, front for, uh, the front piece for your iPad, and it's cut to size. So I already have a previous cover on here um, made by Stealth Armor. And I'm going to show you how to remove it. Um, I think the best way to do it, based on my experience, is to start at the corner and work your way through. If, uh, if one corner doesn't work, try another corner and that's what I'm doing right now and don't worry I mean I wouldn't stretch the material too much just be real gentle with it and um, I mean the material is really awesome because you can repurpose it on another device if you want to just just make sure you don't tear or stretch it and I'll show you how to do that in a later video on um, how to use a blow dryer to apply the stealth armor to another device and make it look as if you know it's a brand new piece so I'm, I'm working my way through and being as gentle but yet firm to prevent tearing or stretching of the material and it's coming off really nicely oh and by the way make sure you place your iPad on something cushiony and and doesn't scratch um, just because you know you want to protect your iPad obviously and in my case I just use some bubble wraps and so I'm going to speed through the, the process here because you don't want to sit here for six minutes to watch me do this well I wouldn't say six minutes but close enough so you want to be gentle and careful as much as, much as possible and couple more seconds here and I'll be done. I mean, you see all those wrinkles? Don't worry about it because with heat, they, they come out and it looks perfect. Okay, so it's off. Um, I want to make sure you understand that, you know, it looks kind of bad right now, but when you do put, repurpose it to another device, heat will take out all the wrinkles. And more importantly right now, as you can see the back of my iPad, it's free of any sticky or whatever. But you do want to give it a quick clean to make sure there's nothing on uh, the surface before applying um, the new piece. And there you have that. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited to use the white piece because I've been carrying the black one around for a few days. Just want to see what it's like. And so, you, you know, you, again, you want to peel it off at one end. try to keep it straight so it's easier to apply. Oh, and by the way, it's very important that in this case, I want slash gear to be sh facing up when the, um, the button is on the right hand side because that's my dominant side. Um, just make sure you, if you're getting a, a, a customized design, to remember to, to make sure you, you have it in the direction that you want it. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through this whole process again.
And it does take, I mean, if you're doing it for the first or second time, it, you know, and if you don't have steady hands, um, in this case, I'm sort of shaking a little bit, you want to make sure that it lines up pretty closely. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be off and you're going to have to pull it out off and, and redo it again. It's not hard to do, um, but you just have to be meticulous about aligning the edges. And once you have it in place, it's really easy, as you can see here in a, in a minute or so. I think that's, I think I got it as straight as possible. And from there, you just kind of want to work it so that it doesn't leave any bubbles in between. No, but, I mean, when, when, you, when you get this and apply it for yourself, it just, I mean, it's really easy. Um, I mean, after a couple of minutes, you shouldn't see any bubbles whatsoever. You see how they're just coming right out. So work, work rapidly, but but also take take care of uh, of the bubbles because you don't want any of those out um, coming out. I'm halfway through, and it's looking good so far. Let's get those edges on the left hand side there. And I got to move that off just a little bit because I didn't like the way that turned out. Oops. So once you get to this point, I'm finding that it's easier to work from the center out. Um, that way you can get rid of bubbles much easier. Almost there. And you can let go of the piece once it hits the other end of the iPad. And as you can see, it looks really good. Hardly, I mean, actually there are zero bubbles showing. And it gives you a full-time protection on the back of your iPad, scratch-free. And it looks great while you're using it. And it's that simple. Anyone can do it. And it's worth the price. And the company responsible for Stealth Armor is called Fusion of Ideas. Fusionofideas.com is where you can uh, pick one of these guys up. And thanks for watching the installation of Stealth Armor. And this review will be on slashgear.com and also on everythingipad.com.